Welcome to the Review and Discussions tutorial. The Review interface is separate from the Editor UI and can be accessed in many ways. Let's open the Active Design for the home page in the Review UI. The default view of the Review UI contains a Topics panel on the left and the Page Design on the right. There is also a tab to indicate what page and design you're on and a menu bar above the design. The menu bar lets you control what you view on the screen. You can navigate pages in the page tree, choose a design from the design listing, automatically browse by a design name, create new topics, or show and hide the topic pins and annotations. Under View, you can expand the page documentation, annotations, or design film strip panels to show on your screen. Annotations are editor notes and are indicated by the blue speech markers. The red push pins are comments and topics of conversation on the design. When you collaborate with others on a project, you will add topic pins or respond to other people's topic pins. All discussions for the current project can be found in the Topics panel. The Topics panel functions as the project's discussion inbox, and only topics that you are subscribed to will appear. You can filter the list to show only the topics you own, are subscribed to, or that are on the current page or design. You can also sort the topics by date, unread, topics with decisions or resolutions, and by author. You will automatically receive an email notification when you are subscribed to a new topic or when replies are posted to topics that you own or have been subscribed to. If you prefer, you can stop email notifications and use the topics inbox to track and engage in discussions. To change your email settings, Go to your name, then Edit Profile to update your preferences. Within the Topics panel, each topic can have one or more indicators to help you understand its status. The blue dot means the topic is new or there is a reply that you have not read. A right arrow informs you which topics are on the active page or design, and the D and R badges indicate decisions and resolutions. There can be multiple decisions in a discussion thread, but only one resolution. A resolved topic means it's closed to further commenting and all decisions have been made. When you have a topic selected, you can see below who is currently subscribed to the topic and even assign owners to the topic to take action once a resolution is met or to guide the discussion. To create a new discussion topic, click the Add Topics button in the toolbar. Take the crosshairs and click on the design to create a topic. You can subscribe all or some of the project members to the topic. Only reviewers can see topics they have created or have been subscribed to. Editors can see any topic created in the account, but will only receive email alerts or dashboard notifications if they are subscribed to a topic. Click Save and a new push pin is created and the topic appears in the Topics panel. Press Escape when you are done creating topics. By default, when you create a topic, you are the owner of that topic. Once you receive feedback on a topic, you can mark replies as decisions, meaning that's the action that will be taken. You can also assign ownership, add more subscribers, or resolve a topic. Resolved topics are no longer open for discussion. You can also completely close a topic by archiving it. Only topic owners can mark decisions and resolutions and unsubscribe other people. Reviewers can be owners. This concludes your tour of the ProtoShare review interface. Be sure to check out our other help resources in the support section of protoshare.com.